So the Metal X is actually pretty unique in the 3D printing world. Uh, and the reason for that is because most of them out there are going to use metal powder by itself. And so that powder is melted together by some sort of laser um, or you've got a binder that holds it together and you put it in a sintering oven, which is uh, pretty hazardous. Obviously, you don't want to breathe that in and you really need a dedicated space for those. You can't just run it in like an office or a shop, you know, as like you can with the Metal X. Uh, and with this system, we're still running with a metal powder, but it's actually bound in a wax and plastic matrix. And so we're able to just put it on a spool um, and we're able to do the same with the ceramic release material. And that release material actually allows us to still use supports and rafts that'll help stabilize your part during sintering and you're able to get away with more overhangs. Um, so if, you know, if you're printing the whole thing out of metal, your part is stuck to the raft, but because we've got that ceramic um, release material turns to powder in the sintering oven. You can pull your part right off of the raft and you're good to go. So before you kick off a print, there's really three things you want to make sure that you check. Obviously, the first one is that you have your material, both ceramic and metal. You want to make sure that material is loaded. You want to make sure you're going to have enough of it. And Iger will keep track of that and it'll give you a warning if you don't have enough. Uh, the next thing you want to do is double check that your purge bin is emptied and there's not a bunch of buildup material in there because if there is uh, material built up in there, it can actually get pulled out onto the part. It can cause dislocations and issues. And a piece of that system as well is you want to make sure that your brushes are not worn down because those brushes, uh, as the print head moves around and switches between metal and ceramic, it's going over there to wipe the nozzles to make sure there's no material drooping off of them and it will wear away at those brushes over time. They are consumable. And so you wanna make sure that they're not completely worn down because you'll have the same issue where material is dripping down and it'll cause dislocations and part defects. So uh, just make sure that this area on the left side of the printer with the brushes in the bin is, is good to go. Uh, and then the third thing is you have to uh, set up a print sheet on the printer. So you, Mark Forge doesn't like to say you can reuse these, but as long as you're printing in a new area, like I wouldn't want to print here because I may have some bed adhesion issues, but you can start a print, you know, in Iger, try to set it up on this left hand side and you're OK to do that a couple of times. Uh, you do not want to flip it over and print down because you can have some debris fall into the vacuum in the print bed and you can have some vacuum issues. But um, when you're adding these, you want to make sure you center them on the print bed. And then you'll use your sheet press. You can just drop it on and align it with the rails in the back. And then depends on which generation of printer you have. The newer ones have the screen on the outside. Ours has it on the inside, but there is a toggle for the vacuum. So you hit that and you'll just follow the on-screen prompts that tell you, um, you know, the vacuum is activated. Once it's good to go with the sheet press, you can remove it. It'll confirm that the vacuum is still sealed and seated and you're good to go on to the next step and you can kick off your print from there. One other thing I wanted to talk about was once your part is finished printing and it's on this print sheet, you want to carefully slide the print sheet off and then to avoid damaging the part because it is fragile in this uh, green state, which is, you know, basically before before washing and sintering, um, you want to really carefully bend it over the edge of a table and peel the part up and off. I'm cheating because this uh, was not printed just now. It's just one of our display parts, but um, just be careful as you're peeling it off. You wanna make sure that you have a really good and smooth underside, whether it's your part or your raft. Um, it's helpful to have that for sintering. It's got a smooth surface as it's shrinking uh, to shrink across the bottom of the setter plate in the center.